Good morning, good people. Peter declares that life is a sum in addition. Add, he says, add to your faith virtue, and add to your virtue knowledge, and add to your knowledge temperance, and so on. We easily become the victims of a process of subtraction. We lose the best as life goes on. We are like a man who fills his pockets with money but has holes in all his pockets. Have we not all lost something of the rapture that flooded our souls at the time of our conversion? Have we not lost something of the radiance of our first simple faith in Jesus? Have we not lost something of the devotion that first impelled us toward the Christian service? Have we ministers not lost something of the passion that burned in our hearts at the time of our ordination? The years are great thieves. They creep upon us with stealthy footsteps and filch away our treasure. But add, says Peter, add, add, add. Do not let life be a continuous subtraction, a persistent depletion, a steady draining away of spiritual vitality. But let it be an uninterrupted growth, a ceaseless enrichment. Go from good to better, and from better on to best. Add, it is a great secret. When the water supply of the city of Jericho became tainted, and the authorities turned in desperation to Elisha, he purified the stream not by removing the impurities from it, but by emptying the crews of salt into it. It is always by a process of addition that our triumphs are wrought. Add to your faith virtue. Faith, you see, is the basis, the foundation. By means of faith, the work of salvation is begun. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. It is an excellent starting point from which to set out on pilgrimage. Begin there, and then add, add, add indefinitely. Let us pray. O God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.